The worst storm in 500 years whips the North Sea into a boiling cauldron. Flood tides lashed by hurricane winds defy the heroic efforts of thousands of workers to reinforce the dikes and race inland to inundate one-sixth of Holland's land area. Even as these pictures were taken at the height of the storm, the death toll stood at 1,400. And as rescue work progressed, it was feared the grim total might reach the 2,000 mark. The dikes, for centuries Holland's bulwarks against the sea, crumble in hundreds of places and the relentless flood of salt water pours over hundreds of thousands of acres of fertile farm land, just reclaimed from the ravages of war. Every available vehicle is pressed into service as the entire nation is mobilized to fight the disaster. While some livestock could be salvaged, the major portion perished in the raging flood waters. This loss alone cannot yet be estimated, but will run into the millions. Houses in the coastal area are torn from their foundations and tossed into grotesque positions. Others are crumbled where they stand. Help from six nations is rushed to stricken Holland and the army and navy are mobilized for rescue work. Women and children first is the order as 30,000 or more are driven from their homes. Some of them in pitiable condition from exposure to the biting northwest winds. So they sit amid the wreckage of a lifetime of work, stunned and mute. Emergency supplies of clothing pour in from six nations for those driven from their homes destitute. Transportation along the coast is completely paralyzed as road beds for miles are entirely washed out. Doughty Holland, whose courageous recovery from a devastating war, suffers a stunning blow from her ancient enemy, the sea ever at her door. The same storm-driven waves smash the Belgian lowlands. The North Sea rushes in irresistibly to engulf land wrested from its depths centuries ago, devastating an area of Belgium inhabited by more than three million. Casualties here have been comparatively low. Only 20 reported dead, but the property damage is great, especially in the coastal cities of Antwerp and Ostend. Their harbor facilities totally disrupted, their streets a shambles. Ahead lies a painful reckoning of the storm's cost and an arduous time of reconstruction. Termed the worst natural disaster in 1,600 years of its history, the storm vents its fury on the east coast of England. Particularly hard hit is the region surrounding the famed Thames estuary, lined with seaside resorts. Cottages are shattered like matchwood. A once thriving resort town is reduced to a shambles. Britons place their dead 324, with many still unaccounted for. Among them were 12 American Air Force men and members of their families. Fleeing before the onrushing flood are thousands of refugees. In England, as in Holland, the rich Kentish farmland suffer untold damage to soil and livestock. The toll in shipping alone will run into millions of dollars as commercial and naval vessels are flung ashore. The entire coast of East Anglia is littered with the hulks. As the storm spends its fury, Britain and the Low Countries take stock. An estimated 2,000 dead, one million homeless, property damage that will take months to assess. A cataclysm that will be recorded in history.